Sleep Token is a complete enigma, with the band being completely anonymous and refusing to do any interviews. But this hasn't hurt the band. If anything, it's actually pushed them even further. They don't need to promote their own material. Their fans do it for them, leading to a huge rise in popularity. So how did Sleep Token go from a completely unknown band to selling out Wembley Arena and singing to a crowd full of worshippers? This is the mysterious rise of Sleep Token. Goodbye. The Mass Collective emerged from the shadows back in 2016, not just as a band, but a full-on spiritual experience, a journey into the unknown. As Sleep Token's popularity surged, fueled by unexpected releases like Chokehold and The Summoning, their online presence became a hub of intrigue. Maintaining an anonymous identity, the band's music transcended genre boundaries. I may love you a blood sport. I may love you a blood sport. Attracting a diverse and devoted fan base. The lore of Sleep Token traces back to a dream where Vessel, the lead vocalist, was visited by an ancient deity known as Sleep, promised glory and magnificence in exchange for unwavering devotion. Each song became a dedication to this elusive deity, a token to sleep, you could say, creating a narrative that explores the toxic relationship between Vessel and Sleep. This part of the lore is why Sleep Token's lyrics translate over so effortlessly into people's lives, as many people are able to relate to the toxic nature of being in a relationship you know you probably shouldn't be in. While comparisons to other mass acts like Slipknot and Ghost exist, Sleep Token's theatrics have a much subtler, darker, and richer mystique. Sleep Token's rise, fueled by organic growth and a deliberate effort to preserve their anonymity, turned them into major headliners, selling out shows and reaching audiences globally. While Sleep Token maintains an air of secrecy, there are actually two interviews that exist with Sleep Token. One is very brief, discussing the lore around the song Jaws, while the other is the only confirmation of the band's origins. Two did recently do an interview with Drumeo, technically making it the third interview ever and it's a sick video too so go check it out when you're done here Exclusive conversation with Metal Hammer back in 2017. Vessel sheds light on the band's commitment to the ancient deity Sleep. The interview delves into the dream encounter with Sleep, the significance of the masked identity, and the markings on Vessel's mask, revealing an acronym in ancient runes that spell out Sleep Token. Despite the fame, Sleep Token insists that their identities are not important. What matters is the music and the message. The interview dismisses comparisons to other bands, emphasizing Sleep Token's unique approach and the dedication to delivering a profound message. From the outside looking in, some find it crazy that people can be this deep into a band that does no interviews, does not talk, doesn't do meet and greets, pretty much remains completely anonymous, but yet somehow have such a strong connection with the band through their music. And if anything, this is what Sleep Token has set out to do from day one, to make it about the message, the music, not their individual fame. But upon doing my research for this video, I did manage to find one extremely rare moment of Vessel breaking character, as he addressed not only a fan, but all of the band's worshippers during a live show in Lafayette back in 2022. I'll play a short clip, but the full video video is available over on Metal Kitty's channel. Some time ago, I was given a message. It was a message that originated from one among you. Someone possessed by a strong desire to tell me something. The message read very simply. You saved me. I am nothing without this music. I am nothing without this mask. So in this sense, the message I receive is true. It only in an inverse sense. The truth is, I did not save anybody. You saved me. The 
Sleep Token community thrives on platforms like Twitter, Reddit, and Discord, where fans dissect lyrics, symbolism, and cryptic Easter eggs found in visuals and merch. The fan base has gotten ridiculously big over the last few months, with thousands of new members joining the Discord alone after the release of Chokehold. While Chokehold may have been the initial catalyst for the band's surge in popularity, the summoning literally took them to a different universe. Sleep Token dropped the summoning a day after dropping Chokehold, sending fans into a frenzy, and more importantly, pushing Sleep Token even more into the mainstream, with the summoning going viral on TikTok. The band then even started trending on Twitter, bringing even more listeners in, and absolutely skyrocketed their monthly Spotify listeners from 250,000 a month to over 1.6 million listeners a month. An insane growth rate. In the midst of fan speculation surrounding Vessel's identity, there is a shared message within the community, respect for the anonymity the band maintains. The focus is on the shared experience of the rituals and the communal expression of emotion rather than the individual behind the mask. Bad Omens fans could never understand boundaries. Oh, did he? Oh. Out of respect, I'm not going to talk about Vessel's true identity. The information is really not that hard to find. But honestly, do you really need to know? Just respect the band's wishes. Sleep Token's masks are more than simply just a fashion statement. It kind of shows the true dedication they have to the brand and law. I mean, just think about it for a second. The choice to remain faceless and nameless amplifies the emotional connection between the band and its audience. Drawing inspiration from the traditions of mass metal acts like Slipknot and Ghost. And on that matter, pretty much every band that sports a mask, we still know who they are. They still promote their own personal brand, and they have a level of fame directed to their own solo projects. We don't get that with Sleep Token. I'm sure every member in the band could have brand deals coming out of their arse if they took off the mask and promoted their own individual brands, but the fact that they don't shows how committed to the band they are. Keeping this level of anonymity, this allows room for interpretation, which I feel personally is a massive factor in their success. It allows fans to use their imagination, build an image in their head as to what fits their mind, kind of similar to how Court's husband found huge success despite being completely anonymous. Fans Fans find personal meaning in the ambiguous lyrics and in the atmospheric compositions. The band's anonymity, far from being a gimmick, becomes kind of a safe space within the fan base, fostering discussions, lore exploration, and a shared celebration of the unknown. I could be completely misinterpreting this, but I see sleep kind of as a metaphor for a lover, exploring all the good, bad, and toxic parts of a relationship, which is why so many people can relate to what is quote-unquote an anonymous band. I mean, even in the lead vocalist name, Vessel, it's kind of a hint. He's exactly that. He's just simply a vessel providing you with lyrics for you to make your own interpretation and journey based on your past experiences. It's not about the band, it's about you, the listener. As Sleep Token continues to rise, their unique approach to anonymity stands as a testament to making it just about the music. They're moving on to the next stage of their career, literally selling out arenas and really bringing a fresh new life into music. In a world where identities and influences are pushed into the spotlight, Sleep Token's commitment to letting the music speak for itself has forged a community that finds solace and strength in the unknown. The allure of the mass figures, the depth of the lore and the emotional connection of their music means Sleep Token will be around for a very long time.